Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will be finally doing my just for my final Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic tier list video. Now, these are my final thoughts. Now that all of the Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic demo videos have been released, they have all been released. So now we know what each one of these animatronics does and what which every one of them looks like. So yeah, um, today I'm going to be doing it. Sorry, I just woke up, so I might sound a little bit weird. But um, yeah, uh, I finally, I think I have a really good idea of what this tier list is going to look like now that all the animatronics have been released. And yeah, let's just get to it. Um, right off the bat, I have to say this year has actually kind of grown off me quite a bit, and it's probably one of the worst years of Spirit Halloween. Um, I know it's it's definitely better than 2022, but um, still not by much. But there are a few animatronics from this year that I do really like. So yeah, and one of them is Rick Ratman, and he's going straight. Oh, sorry, he's going straight into S tier because just because of the amount of gore they put into him. Uh, really cool that we're seeing more gore from Spirit Halloween on this guy. Uh, I we haven't seen as much gore on Rick Ratman on any other animatronic Spirit Halloween's released lately. So Rick Ratman's really cool. Love that they added a bunch of gore to him. He's really gory. And he's a really unique zombie prop because, you know, rats are coming out of him and eating his brain. And then there you have one rat in his stomach eating his, like, intestines or whatever. So I think he's really cool. And he's a definitely a really unique animatronic. And I am going to be getting him this year, which is very exciting. So yeah, Rick Ratman, really cool zombie animatronic. And definitely, I think, the best animatronic of the year from Spirit Halloween 2024. Just because of how gory he is and how like how good the design is of him. Crazy Crate really did a great job of designing this guy's face and the whole animatronic, in my opinion. And his animation is really cool. He's like thrashing around with the rats eating him. And the uh, his audio is just, you know, zombie groaning and you can hear rat noises. And it's really cool. So yeah, I can't wait to get him. Rick Ratman, yeah. Uh, here we have Cotton Candy Dan and... This is a prop, this is the animatronic that's kind of grown off me, but I still like him, but here's the thing, I'm not, like, he breaks a lot, okay, I've, <laughs> I've heard lots of stuff about how he breaks a lot, so I'm glad I'm not getting him, I was actually considering getting him, but now I'm not, because I've heard of how faulty he is, he breaks really easily because of the jump scare, and, uh, yeah, so, Cotton Candy Dan, still a really cool clown, definitely the probably the best clown of the year from Spirit Halloween. Maybe he's tied with Art the Clown. I don't know. But I'm going to have to put him in A tier, probably top of A tier. Here we have Cotton Candy Dan. He, I used to think he'd be my favorite of the year from Spirit Halloween, but I think I just kind of forgot about Rick Ratman. And now that, you know, I remembered Rick Ratman, and now that I'm most likely getting Rick Ratman, and I've looked, in, I've looked into him more, I've realized Rick, how much better of a animatronic Rick Ratman is uh, than uh, Cotton Candy Dan. Cotton Candy Dan is still a pretty cool and unique clown. It's just, it's too bad he doesn't uh, work that well. It's too bad he breaks pr uh, pretty easily, but he's still a cool concept, and I'm still just ranking all these animatronics off their character and off their looks and, am and animation. I'm not ranking these based on how much they break, but I still really like Cotton Candy Dan, but now he's not going into S tier because Rick Ratman is on a whole nother level, in my opinion. Uh, here we have Art the Clown. Yeah, he's going into A tier. Um, I don't think I can put him ahead of Cotton Candy Dan until I see the two in person, but he is still really cool. I was actually considering getting him as well, Art the Clown, yeah, but then I decided not to because I th thought his audio kind of got boring. It was just the honking, so I decided to get uh, Little Daisy and the Maestro, which I already have. And I already did a review of him. And uh, Spike, the zombie, released in 2022. He was on sale for one nineteen ninety nine. So I decided, hey, I might as well get him because he's so cheap right now. And I'm getting Rick Ratman, of course. So three animatronics I'm getting this year. But yeah, I'm glad I decided not to get Arthur Clown because he's... I'm sure he'd get kind of boring after a while with the honking. But he's still a really cool design and they did a great job with him. I love the waving animation on him. I like uh, the head animation. The head, the f the face looks really cool. The design of the face on this guy, really movie accurate. 
And yeah, he has some really cool animation. It's just the audio can get a bit annoying, I think. So yeah. Um, we have the Ringmaster. Here's another one going into A tier right here, I think. Uh, yeah, he really has grown on me a lot, Ringmaster. Um, he really do I, I mean, when he was first released, when the, first, the, when the pictures were first released, I thought, well, he looks kind of cool. And I actually thought his face looked kind of goofy, but... Now that I think about it, he's actually a really intimidating uh, character, and he's really cool because he's like the introduction animatronic to the Spirit Halloween Carnival. He like introduces the people in the store to the whole theme of the carnival. So I think he's a really cool prop, and they definitely really needed him, and it's good that they released him. So yeah, Ringmaster, really cool. Can't wait to see him in person. He's seven feet tall, so he's giant. And yeah, he's a really intimidating character in person, I'm sure. So yeah, um... Now I'll be ranking Barnaby the Bear. Now this is one I really overhyped. I was so stupid of overhyping this prop. And I even thought of getting him at one point. But um, that things just changed because... And I'm glad they changed because Barnaby the Bear, in real life, he just sucks. I, I watched a bunch of like unboxing videos of him, of people getting him in person. And he does not look good right out of the box. He does not look good in real life. The only time he looked pretty good was in the actual demo video from Spirit Halloween. But of course they edit that and make him look good. But in real life, Barnaby the Bear, when you see him in person, he's not going to look that good. And he's not he's definitely not one of the best of the year. I can't believe I used to think he was absolutely amazing. He is still unique. He's a nice concept. It's just it didn't really turn out great because um, he just doesn't look that good in person. He looks all plasticky and crappy and his hair is all weird in person it's just weird but um his animation's fine it's him bouncing on the ball and yeah he's decent he's not horrible he's definitely a cool prop to fit in with the carnival but i still don't like him as much as i thought i'd like him i'm putting him in b tier b for barnaby um his outfit also i like his outfit though that's pretty cool but yeah b for barnaby not good but definitely not bad just decent and it's a kind of a unique carnival animatronic so yeah here we have clowning around he's gonna go at the top of b because he's kind of uh just he's like a goofy clown but i really like um his appearance he's really tall i think he's seven feet tall or something like that and i really like his face and his outfit you know black and white clown but his face is really cool and intimidating really creepy but the phrases are just really goofy and they don't really um, spook me that much. They don't. I don't find his phrases too scary. But he's still a cool clown animatronic. It's cool he returned this year. I just wish he returned as an in-store prop because he would have fit in perfectly with the carnival theme because he's a clown. But no, they decided to make him an online only, which is stupid. But yeah, clowning around, still pretty cool clown animatronic, and it's cool that they had him uh, return. He actually, if you compare him to Art the Clown, they kind of actually look similar because they're both like black and white clowns. Yeah, it's, and they're both wearing like the same type of hat. So yeah, they look kind of similar. But yeah, clowning around, still pretty cool clown, just not the best. Uh, definitely better than Barnaby though. Jeez. Uh, here we have Creepy Town Clown, another clown that returned this year for Spirit Halloween and is an online only, which is stupid. But he's going into S tier because in my opinion, he is one of the best clowns in Spirit Halloween history. And it's co really cool that they had him return. And I have to say, for the price of $229.99, that is a steal of a deal. And if my ceilings were a bit higher, I would be getting him uh, in a heartbeat. So yeah, Creepy Towering Clown, really, really cool. It's just so stupid that they have him as an online only, because, like I said, he would fit in perfectly with the carnival theme this year. But yeah, that's Creepy Towering Clown. Still definitely an S tier, because um, he's just one of the best clowns in history. I don't like him better than Rick Ratman, though, because Rick Ratman is just a really gory and crazy zombie. But I still really like Creepy Towering Clown, one of the best clowns in history. Um, here's Shirley Stab. This is another one going into S tier. Uh, this one's really grown on me ever since she was her video was released. Uh, she's really creepy. All she does is she does a stabbing motion, but I think so that that's just so eerie and creepy. Um... The audio is really creepy. It's like an antique audio. So it's like, it's supposed to be like a 50s housewife or an 80s housewife, around the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. 
and she just is such a unique and antique looking animatronic and i re- really like her face i really like how her face is all carved out and bloody and looks like a jack-o'-lantern face on a lady i just think that looks so cool and creepy and uh, the story behind her is really creepy too how she like kills her husband with that knife um so yeah really really creepy stuff too bad she's an online only but of course all the really gory props this year are gonna be online onlys because spirit halloween is like we don't want to have all these gory animatronics in stores scaring kids it's a the halloween animatronics are supposed to scare kids come on spirit Bring the gore back in stores. Bring it back in stores next year for 2025, please. But yeah, Shirley Stab, really cool. Um, just not as good as Creepy Darren Clown, in my opinion. But yeah, really cool, gory, and unique prop. Really like her. Here's the Demonic Gatekeeper. And this is one that's really grown on me, and I really underhyped him when he was first released. I did not expect him to be a really, like as big as he is like i've seen reviews of him he is huge he is like a giant reaper groundbreaker which i just absolutely love my opinion has changed on him drastically if you watched my other my previous like early june or my late june tier list you'd see that this guy was really low on my list but now he jumps all the way up to a in fact i think he's better than the ringmaster but not quite as good as art the clown but he's like, yeah, right here at the bottom of A. He's really cool. He's grown on me quite a bit. And it's too bad he's an inbox only, I think. I don't think he'll be on display, which is too bad. I'd really like to see him in person. But yeah, that's the demonic gatekeeper. Really, really cool. And he's grown on me a lot. I can tell you that. I bet his skull and his head is really big in person. And he just looks really cool as he's rising. And in the dark, he looks really cool because he has that nice light up effect on the skull and in his like chest so yeah really cool and he also fogs as well so that's really cool so yeah demonic gatekeeper really cool and he's grown on me quite a bit oh and here's one that i really uh overhyped um this is bobby strings i overhyped him way too much and i'm pissed off about the final product uh yeah bobby strings is (sighs) Yeah, he's horrible. Uh, I hate his audio, first of all. I hate... The the thing that kills the prop for me is the audio. His look and appearance is pretty cool, in my opinion. I think it's really cool, and he'll look pretty intimidating and menacing in person because he's, you know, a giant marionette. And I like his face. His face is pretty creepy. And his animation's cool. But his audio is the most embarrassing audio Spirit Halloween has ever released on an animatronic. Ever, probably. It's just so stupid. If you listen to this guy's audio, it's basically just a kid, a little boy singing. That's it. There's nothing special, nothing scary about him other than his appearance, but there's nothing scary about the audio at all, and it just doesn't fit the prop at all, in my opinion. They ruined Bobby Strings, and he's going into F tier because of his audio, and he just is horrible. Of course, I still like his, I still like the design of him, but they just ruined him. Why did they have to put such bad audio on such a cool-looking animatronic? I don't get it. And it's just so stupid that they did that. I don't know why. Actually, I think I'm going to have to put him in C tier just because I like the way he looks, at least. And he's actually really huge in person. But he just... <sighs> his audio is horrible. And he's definitely one of the worst of the year. That's why I'm putting him in C tier. At least I like the way he looks, and at least hopefully in stores his audio will be turned down like, you know, Lucky Bottoms, because people will think his, the workers will think his audio is way too annoying, hopefully. But yeah, Bobby Strings, C tier, such a letdown. (coughs) Okay, here we have Nibbles the Clown. This is an animatronic that I also kind of overhyped. I thought he was going to be really cool, but I've seen in-person videos of him now. And his motion tracking technology isn't good at all. It doesn't work that well. And um, his voice is just too goofy. When his video was released, I was like, ah, his voice is just too goofy. This is just another really goofy clown. And he's going to have to go. uh, Yeah, he's going to go right here behind Barnaby, to be honest. Because at least Barnaby isn't that goofy. Nibbles is goofy. His phrases are just too goofy. It reminds me of like some German goofy clown talking about candy 
oh, I want to get candy. Like, so, <laughs> sorry, I can't do his voice because I'm not German. Well, actually, I am. I'm part, part German, but I'm not from Germany. So I can't do Nibbles the Clown's German clown voice. I can't believe they made his voice so goofy. And I'm not trying to be racist to Germans. I'm part German, and I'm tr- not trying to be racist. But still, Nibbles the Clown, too goofy of a fr- phrases. And yeah. But I think it's cool that they ha- made him a jester, because that's kind of unique. We haven't seen too many jesters from Spirit Halloween in recent years. So it's pretty cool he's a jester, and he'll still look pretty interesting in person, but just not the biggest fan of the final product. So yeah, Nibbles the Clown, bottom of B. Uh, Here we have Towering Tallulah. So this is yet another Mr. Dark Reskin, of course. Uh, And honestly, she's the worst of the Mr. Dark Reskins. She's definitely worse than Mr. Dark, and she is definitely worse than Hellspawn. Um... I don't know why they decided to make a witch reskin of Mr. Dark. I think it's because, you know, the pumpkin reskin of Mr. Dark got leaked and they decided uh, we got to change things up because people already know it's coming. So they changed it last minute to a witch, which is, I mean, it's not a horrible prop, but it's definitely the worst of the Mr. Dark reskins. And it's it's too bad that they, ch- I, I just wish they stuck with the pumpkin reskin of Mr. Dark because that would have been really cool. But um, I'm going to have to put her at the bottom of B tier because she's just um, fine. She's not horrible, horrible, but she's not good. She's definitely not good. Um, her face is kind of cool. Her face is kind of growing on me. It's a nice witch face. I usually don't like witch animatronics, but the face on her actually looks kind of cool. But yeah, she's just fine. She's not horrible. She's just not good at all, in my opinion. So that's Towering Tallulah. Um, Here we have the Dark Princess. She's going to be pretty high. She's going to be like right here at the top of B, right in the middle of Barnaby and Art, I mean, not Art the Clown. See, they look so similar. I'm I'm accidentally calling clowning around Art the Clown. Right in the middle of clowning around and Barnaby the Bear. Dark Princess is a pretty cool, in my opinion, uh, jump scare prop. And she has grown on me quite a bit. But, um, yeah, I like her appearance. I like her uh, face. I think it actually does look pretty creepy with the wings, the dark wings. And her overall design is pretty unique. But, um, of course, she's not as good as the other props, in my opinion, from this year. So, uh, Dark Princess, still pretty cool. Excited to see her in person. But um, I, I'm sure since she's a lot like Dagger Mike and Desmodus, she will break kind of often because of the jump scare being so violent which is too too bad, but yeah, um, Dark Princess, still pretty cool, can't wait to see her in person, uh, here we have, (laughs) here we have Max Straw, and I'm sorry, Mac, I don't like you, uh, at least you're better than Bobby Strings, but, because at least Max Straw can be a bit creepy with his laughter, but, and he's really tall, uh, but, um, of course, Bobby Strings is really tall too, but I still, think Max Straw is a little bit better than Bobby Strings, but he's still bad because I don't like his face. It's too smiley and kid-friendly, in my opinion. And it's just a bland, basic scarecrow. Uh, at least he's seven feet. We don't see too many, like, giant scarecrows from Spirit Halloween other than, like, Nightmare Harvester. Stuff like that. But Max Straw, yeah, very bland and basic. I don't really like him. You could literally get Max Straw as a just a scarecrow for, like, your cornfield or something to scare the crows off. And, um, yeah, but as a Halloween prop, he's not too scary at all. So that's why he's at the top of C tier. Not good at all. Um, so, yeah. And also, I don't know why they named him Max Straw, because it's very similar to the name Jack Straw, which, if you don't know, is a very good Scarecrow animatronic Spirit Halloween released back in 2019. So it's kind of weird how they, like, I guess, reskinned the name, if you know what I mean. Max Straw, Jack Straw sounds really similar. But yeah, Max Straw, not good at all. Here's the new 2024 Ghost Face. And yes, they do have the 2021 Ghost Face as the profile picture for this, which is weird. But um, in reality, this is the 2024 Ghost Face for this year. And it is a really good Ghost Face animatronic, I have to say that. It has grown on me quite a bit. I'll have to put it at the bottom of A. Because um, it's a lot better than the, definitely a lot better than the 2021 Hauntress reskin Ghost Face that we got from Spirit Halloween. But, um... It's it's still pretty cool. It'll look really cool in person. I like the head tilting motion, and I like you know the stabbing motion and the 
audio the phrases. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff from this ghost face. I like it. And I like how the masks, you can change the masks to like a bloody a bloody one and like an old mask. Pretty cool. Ghost face animatronic. Uh, here we have the Michael Myers. And this is horrible. I don't like him at all. And um, actually, you know, let me change things up a bit. I'm going to have to put him in C tier because at least he's definitely better than Max Straw, in my opinion, and Bobby Strings. So top of C tier, in my opinion, he's cre he's like, you know, he's Michael Myers. So, of course, he's going to be creepy to the trick-or-treaters, but he's not a good Michael Myers animatronic at that. Like, he's not, if you, pr if you compare him to the 2018 Michael Myers, he just looks so stupid compared to it. And it's just not a good design. I don't know why they had to make this. Um, the hair is bad. The face is just bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad Michael Myers animatronic. Not good in my opinion. But um, here we have <laughs> here we have Night Terror obviously going into F tier. And yeah, I'll just say why. Because, you know, I mean, actually, I guess most of you are probably sick of people talking about Night Terror. So I'm not going to talk about him. It's just, you know, he's going into F tier because he's not good he's just the whole, one of the worst animatronic spirits released in history he's worse than johnny punk and worse than young crouchy honestly worse than any animatronic they've released so yeah in history so night terror horrible f tier uh here we have the giant death ray and this one's de i mean it's not one of my favorites but it's like decent it's gonna go probably in like let's see he's gonna go like right here in the middle of Dark Princess and Barnaby. Because he's like, cool, it's nice that Spirit made like a nice giant gigaprop this year as a part of their theme. But, um, and I like his alien face. So he's he'll look cool in person, but he's just decent. Um, and he's okay. And I bet he looks really cool in the dark with his light effect. So yeah, giant death ray, not really good, but definitely not horrible. Still pretty decent in the middle of B tier. Here we have Wanda Webworth, and this is like, um, it's really interesting. I honestly, I'm going to have to put her at bottom of A. She's grown on me quite a bit lately. Uh, yeah, she's grown on me a lot. Um, I like her animation. Her mouth animation is really cool. And I like her, how she has animation with her legs, her spider legs. Really, really cool design here for Wanda Webworth. She's really creepy. Um, the eyes are really designed well, and the face is designed well. Everything about Wanda Webworth is pretty good and creepy. Creepy spider animatronic. But she's at the bottom of A because I've never really been a big fan of like life-size spider animatronics. But for this one, Wanda Webworth, she's pretty cool. And she'll be cool in person. So yeah, Wanda Webworth, bottom of A. Um, here we have the Twitching Banshee that returned this year. And... I'm going to have to put um, her at the top of A. Well, no, I'll have to put her at the here in A tier because she's really cool. She actually is really creepy and really cool. I love her animation. It's like all violent and creepy and her face is really scary. She's just really, really cool. And it's too bad that she's an online only because I would have liked to see her in person. But that's fine. She's still pretty cool. And most returning props are obviously online only nowadays for Spirit Halloween, which is too bad. But yeah, uh, Twitching Banshee is still a pretty cool prop return. Really cool and creepy animatronic. Classic. I believe she was released in 2015. And yeah, now she is returned. So yeah, pretty cool. Twitching Banshee. So here we have Cerberus. Uh, and this is another one that returned this year. And uh, I believe... Uh, Cerberus is like, I think she's in, or he, I think he or they, because it's three dog heads, whatever. I think Cerberus is an online only, or maybe an inbox only, I don't know. But um, I've never really been a big fan of this one. It's going to go at the top of C, because at least it's like unique and creepy. And I like the fog effect. And the faces are definitely really scary. And for that, I actually put it at the bottom of B. Maybe a bit better than Towering Tallulah. Like right there, because Cerberus is pretty decent. It's a three-headed dog, and it is pretty scary. 
it's just not really my cup of tea. I think Bubba, Man's Possessed Friend, is a lot better. But yeah, that's Cerberus right there. Oh boy, here we have Emily and Victor. And honestly, they're just... I don't want to talk about them because every time... And I don't give a shit about other people's opinions. I mean, I respect everyone's opinions, but don't just comment down below. Emily and Victor are S tier or A tier. No, they're not in my book. They're F tier because I've never seen the movie and they're just way too kid friendly. And I don't, I hate it whenever Spirit Halloween licensed props that are too kid friendly. So yeah, F tier. They're not, nothing special at all. And don't comment down below about these two because if so your comment will most likely get removed or something like that um here have the cremator and yeah he's like he's top of f because he's at least okay or i maybe i'll put him in c tier uh because he's better than bobby strings he is better than max straw yeah, I'll put him at top of C because he's grown on me quite a bit. He's still a static prop, so he's kind of boring. But I like his uh, light effect. I like his fire effect. And his voice is definitely really cool. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the voice actor for the cremator, I think, is the same as the Harvester from Spirit Halloween 2011, I think, is when he was released. So that's crazy that we're seeing that voice again. But yeah, the cremator, pretty cool static prop. Um, I just wish he had like maybe a side-to-side -side animation or something like that. But yeah, he's decent. He's pretty cool. He's grown on me, but he's like top of C, so he's not the best, but not horrible. He's just fine. So yeah, the cremator. Uh, and then last but not least, we have uh, Gravestone Ghoul. Uh, he's just average zombie prep. I'm gonna have to put him in like top of C, like right here. Because, I mean, he's creepy enough. He's a nice graveyard prop. It would have been better if he was released last year, obviously, for the cemetery theme. Um, I like his animation. It's like a thrashing animation, kind of like, you know, twitching Banshee. But, um, and I like how he's, like, holding on to the gravestone. So he's kind of unique, I guess. But he's just, his overall design is just an average um, zombie animatronic. Um Oh, by the way, I keep on calling it a he, but I don't even know if it's a he or a she. I don't really know. So, but yeah, Gravestone Ghoul, not really that good in my opinion, but it's fine. It's like, okay. And yeah, that does it for my final Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic tier list. Yes, these are my final thoughts after every single um, animatronic demo video has been released. This is my final opinion. And I have to say, this year for Spirit Halloween 2024, I mean, it's not horrible. It's decent. There are some pretty good props this year, but there are some pretty bad ones as well. So, yeah, that is my Spirit Halloween, my, my final Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic tier list video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.